Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the differential equation using variation of parameters using second method. Okay, part 2. So, let's get going. Problem. So, you solve y double dash plus y equal to secant x or d square y by dx square plus y equal to secant x using variation of parameters method. So, here we are given a differential equation of order 2, right? And y double dash is nothing but d square y by dx square. Or you can give like this y2 plus y equal to secant x. Here y2 is also nothing but d square y by dx square. That is second derivative of y we can say. Okay. Fine. Now coming to the problem. We are given a differential equation. y double dash plus y equal to secant x or d square y by dx square plus y equal to secant x or we can write this in dif differential operator form or operator form we can write d square y by dx square or we can replace d square y by dx square with differential operator d square y plus y equal to secant x. Now take y common from these two terms, we'll get d square plus 1 into y equal to secant x. Consider it as equation 1, which is an operator form, say f of d into y equals to, let's take rhs part as r of x. Okay. And here f of d, where f of d equal to d square plus 1 and the homogeneous equation of 1 is just put rhs equals to 0 or write equation 1 without rhs part then we'll get the homogeneous equation of 1 which is d square plus 1 equal to 0 consider it as Equation number 2. Let's now find the solution of this homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of d, d square plus 1, let's replace the differential operator with m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1 and the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equals to 0. Now we need to find the roots of this equation. Take this plus 1 to RHS, it becomes minus 1, then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1 since square root of minus 1 equals to i, let's replace square root of minus 1 with i, then m equal to plus or minus i are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, the roots are complex conjugate. And we'll get the solution of this equation using the formula. We know that if m equal to a plus r minus ib, the solution of homogeneous equation will be e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? In case of a0, we'll get e power 0 into x here. Then this equals to e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. And also we know that e power 0 is 1, so we'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? Or 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx is c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Now just compare plus or minus i with plus or minus ib. Then for b equal to 1, we'll get the solution of the homogeneous equation. The solution of the homogeneous equation equation number 2 is y equal to c1 cos for b equal to 1, 1 into x 
plus c2 sin 1 into x. From this we will get y equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. This is the solution of equation 2. Say I want constants, arbitrary constants c1 and c2 to appear in the general solution. So I will take c3 and c4 as arbitrary constants here for my convenience. Okay. It's 3 and 4. Right? Now, we got the solution of equation 2 which is y equal to c3 cos x plus c4 sin x. Right? Let y equal to, now replace the constant c3, c4, I mean the parameters by a and b, then we'll get y equal to a cos x plus b sin x, b the general solution of equation 1 or the given differential equation. general solution of equation 1 where a and b are functions of x okay here cos x I'll name cos x as u and sin x as v or just compare this with y equal to a u plus b v or you can compare with y equal to c 3 u plus c 4 v okay you'll get u equal to cos x and v equal to sin x right fine so in this method we are going to find a b using a dash and b dash formula where a dash equals to minus v r by u v1 minus v u1 and b equal to u r by u v1 minus v u1 okay we are having r the richest part or r of x which is secant x and we are having u cos x and v sin x let's find u v1 minus v u1 because it exists in both the formula right firstly we'll find u v1 minus v u1 and later we'll use a dash and b dash to find a and b and then we'll put it in the general solution formula so that we'll get the solution of the given equation or equation 1. So let's see. Now we are going to find u v1 minus v1. This equals to u. u is cos x into v1. v1 is nothing but derivative of sin x or we are having v equal to sin x right differentiate on both sides with respect to x then we'll get dv by dx which is equal to derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x derivative of v with respect to x is a v1 so value of v1 is cos x minus v sin x into u1 we have u equal to cos x now differentiate on both sides with respect to x we'll get du by dx equal to derivative of cos x is minus sin x which is a u1 okay into u1 is minus sin x so this becomes cos square x minus into minus plus sine square x or we can write it as sine square x plus cos square x since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so this equals to 1 so therefore u v1 minus v u1 equal to 1 
let's now find a and b firstly we will go for a1 sorry a dash which is given by minus vr by uv1 minus v1 which is equals to minus v is sin x into r secant x by uv1 minus v1 is 1 right and this becomes minus sin x into secant x since we know that secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta so we can replace secant x with 1 by cos x so we'll get minus sin x into 1 by cos x which is equals to minus sin x by cos x which is equals to minus tan x right we got a dash equal to minus tan x and we know that a dash can be written as derivative of a with respect to x now take this dx differential dx to rhs so that the variables get separated here the variables are separated or variables are separable so we can perform integration integral dA equal to minus integral tan x dx since integral tan theta d theta equal to log secant theta right then this becomes integral dA is a equal to minus integral tan x dx is log secant x plus integral constant say c1 this is the reason why i have changed c3 and c4 c3 and c4 in the general solution of equation 2 okay see if you are not that good at remembering this formula we can write tan theta is sin theta by cos theta and if f of theta equals to cos theta then f dash of theta will be minus sin theta right here we can apply integral f dash of theta by f of theta d theta formula which is log mod f of theta so in the numerator we need minus sin theta in order to write in order to get f dash of theta that is derivative of cos theta so what we'll do is we'll just write this plus as minus into minus because minus into minus is plus right we'll take min one minus outside the integral okay this equals to minus integral this of the form integral f dash of theta by f of theta right f dash of theta minus sin theta by f of theta cos theta so we'll get minus log mod f of theta which is cos theta or we can write it as minus log cos theta or we can write it as log cos theta whole inverse since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m so we'll write minus log cos theta as log cos theta whole inverse this equals to log cos theta whole inverse is reciprocal of cos theta which is equals to log reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta right fine now coming to b dash we have b dash equals to u r by u v1 minus v u1 okay now substitute u r and the value obtained from u v1 minus v u1 we'll get u cos x into r r is secant x by 1 this is equals to cos x into secant x this is equals to cos x into we know that secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta so we can replace secant x with reciprocal of cos x cancel cos x you will get b dash equals to 1 and now we will write this b dash as derivative of b with respect to x now take this dx to rhs we will get db equal to dx here the variables are separable so we can perform integration we will get integral db equal to integral dx since the integral db is b and this equals to integral x I mean integral dx is x plus some integral constant say c2 therefore b equal to x plus c2 we got b also x plus c2 
right we got a and b let's now write the general solution using y equal to a cos x plus b sin x therefore the general solution of the given equation is given by y equal to a cos x plus b sin x now substitute a and b here then we'll get y equal to a into a minus log secant x plus c1 into cos x plus b x plus c2 into sin x this equals to minus cos x log secant x plus c1 cos x plus x sin x plus c2 sin x so firstly we'll write the terms involving c1 and c2 we'll get y equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus cos x log secant x plus x sin x which completes the problem part 2 completes so we have seen a problem or a differential equation we have solved a differential equation using variation of parameters using the other method second method i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video in the next video we are going to see part 3 the last method to find variation of parameters okay so till then bye bye